inverse norm. When do we use that button? It's when you're solving for the observation, solving for x. For instance, I got IQ scores again. They're approximately normal. It's got a mean and a standard deviation. The question they could ask is, what score do I need to get to be in the top 5%? Hopefully you are just good at these normal curve problems, and the first thing you do is draw a picture. They, told me, they tell me it's approximately normal. I quickly draw my mean, my standard deviation. Top 5%. Where is that? It's got to be somewhere over here. So we're going to say this. And we're going to say that this is 5%. Top 5%. Then people get stuck. They don't know what to do. Well, write down your formula. You should have this memorized. Should probably have sweet dreams of this beautiful, amazing formula, how to find z-scores. Plug in the numbers you know. I know the mean is 90, and I know the standard deviation is 20. I have no idea what z is. I have no idea what x is. I am solving for x. That's what I'm solving for. So I'm going to have to use my calculator to get Z. Our calculator, though, does not do top 5%. It does the bottom percent. It does the percentile. Percentile. What is the percent to the left? What is the area to the left? The area to the left is not 5%. If that's 5%, then the area or the percent to the left must be 95%. So that is what we're plugging into our calculator. So we go second, VARS, never PDF, not CDF. It's inverse norm. When we're looking for Z and know the percent, we use inverse norm. Yours is going to say area. So you type in 0.95, make sure it's not 95. If you type in 95, it's going to give you an error message. Type in 0.95, go ahead down and hit paste and enter, enter. We get a z-score of 1.64. So we plug that in, 1.64. Now we can solve using algebra, good old ninth grade. That's probably what Mr. Bob would say that'd be kindergarten math. But um, I don't want to assume you know how to do that. Please take 1.64 to solve for x and multiply that by 20. 32.8. Then we add 90. 122.8. I need a score of 122.8. If you put that on my test for chapter two, glorious, super happy. But later on in the year, you're gonna to need to know when to round. In this case, I don't think on a IQ test I can get a 0.8. So if I wanna be in that top 5%, I would need to round. So my rounded answer would be 123. We're gonna see that more in statistics, when to round, when not to round. Um, in this case, I would say I should round 123. So if I want to be considered like a genius, I would need to score 123.